Now the console is the only unit that doesn't have Wi-Fi. So I'm installing the MIM HO5UN. It looks like this right here. And I'm connecting it to this unit. And how do you take this unit apart? It's easy. You got one, two, three, four screws, okay? Phillips screws. And then this front cover will come right off, okay? So you gotta take this off as well, but this just pops in. So, and that's the front cover piece. Okay, let me get this out of the way and then show you how to hook up this Wi-Fi adapter. Now, if you take the front cover off of this Wi-Fi kit here, you've got the connections. You've got the F1 and F2 communication and the V1 and V2, which is the power for this thing. Now, if your indoor unit doesn't have V1 and V2 terminals, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the white and black plug. Okay, I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna use some of the communication cable that I brought, the two wire communication cable to hook from this right here to my little kit, my little module. So I'm gonna use F1 and F2, and then I'm gonna use this white and black wire that goes to this plug, which is V1 and V2. And you can actually see in the manual here, for indoor units without V1 and V2 connections terminals, use the external control line two for sub PBA inside the indoor unit for 12 volts DC power supply. Got the wires connected here, and I've got some materials, some gasket material that I put behind this to leave enough room so that I could route my wires through and not smash them when I mount this to the wall. So, using just some gasket material. I carry this with me for other things. Red rubber sheet packing. You could probably use a piece of wood, but I had this with me, so I'm routing the wires through there, and then I'll put this on the wall. I gotta finish mounting it though. Wi-Fi kit is mounted on the wall. We've got an AP and a reset button. We got enough room that we can click those if we need to. There was some hardware that was sent with this Wi-Fi kit, which makes the job way more professional. You got some wire ties, you got some hole clamps, and then you had these spades. So. I've already connected the F1 and F2, and then I used a couple really small blue wire nuts for the V1 and V2. So we're in good shape now. And I notched the bottom of the panel. That way I can put it all back together and it'll set flush. Just learned something about the V1 and the V2, the 12 volts. So you have a four wire plug and you have a two wire plug, which is the white and the black. I've already cut the plug off. I'm using the black wire and you see where this is cut? I'm using the orange wire to provide my 12 volts. So the black wire, the orange wire is V1, the black wire is V2. And you'll need to cut both of those plugs, the two wire and the four wire. Something I also learned is that using this Wi-Fi kit, you can use the 5G, okay, that band. Now with the Walmart Air Handlers Wi-Fi, you can use the 2G, but this one you can use the 2G or the 5G. And some people say they like the Walmart air handlers better with that Wi-Fi with the 2G because you can do different things on the app than you can using this Wi-Fi kit. Covers back together on the unit. Wi-Fi kit is installed. And here is the number of the kit. Just in case you want that. This information is on SamsungHVAC.com under the downloads, under the technical documents. Now the customer can use the SmartThings app to control this console with that Wi-Fi kit. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, smash the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. If you want more Samsung troubleshooting videos, go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. If you got a question, put it down in the comments. Questions can become content. If you don't have a question, let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. I like to know where my viewers are from. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you so much for subscribing, especially for becoming a member. If you have not, let me know that you are a member down in the comments. Please let me know you're a member and that you've joined. I've got a bunch of guides for you that I will send you, like Samsung troubleshooting guides, like mini split sizing basics. Do not forget to go check out the other videos on my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. Thank you so much for watching. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tan, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.